Sam, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you too. I just saw your video the other day, man. He kicked you in the back of your leg? Yeah, I just you, you wasn't faking on that one. That shit like it hurt. Let's smoke. Oh, you the smoke. The smoke. The smoke. The smoke. The smoke. The smoke. This is the snow and the pro. That's work. This is the Schmo and the Pro with Chargers defensive tackle, Corey Legit, Legit. <laughs> What's going on, Schmo, baby? You know something? The Schmo's five days older than you, Corey. Did you know that? Nah, man, I think I'm a little older than you, man. Wait, you 13 or 23rd? You the 23rd of we're not, gonna, we're not gonna say the okay, age. all right, all right. 13th, baby. 13th, oh we're yeah, both, you, got, uh, you got me. Pisces with the fish, you know? Yes, sir. That's right. So first round pick, 18th overall, 2011, University of Illinois. Right but you're on. from Miami. Why'd you go to the cornfields? Man, my man Zook, man. You know, he was at UF, you know. Uh, then he got fired from there and went up to Illy. And I said, you know what, man, I'm going to go ahead and follow that guy, man. When he came down to Florida, he, he was just himself. So I said, you know what, I can trust and believe in this guy. Went up there, played as a freshman, and did three and out. Inspired by that Rashard Mendenhall bruiser oh, running yeah. back, oh, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had a squad. Rashad, Juice, Bunte, Aurelius. Yeah, we, we, had some, we had some players up there, man. So that was part of the reason, too, though. But you couldn't stay in those cornfields in Champaign Urbana for more than, what, three years? So yeah. you left for the draft early? Smoke guns, baby. Gone. But I went back and finished and got my degree, though, you know? Sociology. Was, yeah, so, yeah, man. That was important for me, you know? So went back, did the thing, got the degree, and now I've been in beautiful California for the last eight years. You're the longest tenured defensive player on those Los Angeles Chargers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say San Diego, but he wants to say Los Angeles, but it's okay. But it's so it's hard for me to get it. You say San Diego or you say Los Angeles? The Schmo probably introduced you as a San Diego Charger already. You know, they, you know they're, they're paying me, they paying me, so I'm gonna say Los Angeles Chargers, so. Which one do you like better though? Los Angeles or San Diego? I'm, I'm San Diego at heart still, man. I love it, I love it, man. That's a place where me and my family were making home, so San Diego for me. You guys like playing a soccer stadium now, though. Yeah, yeah, it's like a high school stadium in Texas somewhere, but we go make it happen, though. And yeah, don't even have like home field advantage. It feels like I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be fair. Sometimes we go though with over twenty-five thousand of the away team. So yeah, it's like we play a couple of old games, but we go out there and do our job. How do you become the number one team in LA? Win, man, just win, baby. You know, that's that's how you be the number one team in California. I mean. It, if you look at it, everybody loves the Rams and the Raiders because, I mean, they've been here and, and they have won championships. So that's what we're trying to do, bring a championship to the state of California and also the city of L.A. Baby. And all those experts were saying the Chargers, if they actually had a kicker last year, uh, they would have been a playoff team. <laughs> oh, yeah, because, I mean, it came down to the wire with about three games. And that's the difference between being 9-7 and 12-4. And and so, uh, yeah, we, we're that close, man. And we've been that close for about four years now, so it's like, Forget that, let's get over the damn, uh, the damn hump now. So, yeah, it's go time. We're gonna address the talent of that football team, but first off, the Schmo's gotta address the fat lady in the room, okay? <laughs> Mariah, please step out. <laughs> you were suspended for the first four games for PEDs. Right, right, right. Man, that, that, that was a tough situation for me, man. I mean, you know, there's some things that you just, you have to deal with, you know, and it was one of those things I take, I take full responsibility for. I mean, it's so crazy, man. We can't even have too much Red Bull. Too much monster. Anything that's that boosts your enhancement is automatically a suspension against the NFL. You can't even take a Viagra. You can't take a Viagra? Nothing. How do you get it up? <laughs> uh, well, I get it up fine, but if any other guy has a We're approaching 30. Yeah, man. Hey, listen. Just making, I'm, just making sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Playing in that the department. trenches. I know you got but, the testosterone. Yeah, of course, man. So so it's 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 just a lot of bad things, a bad substance that a lot of people don't know about. So average joke can take up Cialis, but you can't because it enhances you. So, you know, it, it sucks, you know, and, and marijuana too, you know, it's legal in the state of California. Yeah. Plenty of guys want to try to smoke it, but you can't. Now, you're a star guy. Do you leave your nutrition up to a nutritionist? I leave it up to my wife, man. Oh, I love my wife. Yeah, I love so my wife we're going to blame your wife for this one? Yeah, nah, we ain't going to blame okay. my wife for this one. Nah, nah, we're going to leave her out of this. We're going to leave okay. her out of this. You're trying to get me in trouble. So no, I'm not. I mean, there's like 14 guys already on this list, you know, like Vontaze Perfect. You know, Mark Ingram was on that list yeah, I saw. Yeah, too. man, yeah, it sucks, man. And uh, I mean, just to be have that label on you, man, it's terrible, man. It's just an ugly thing to have, but most guys own up to it when, you, when something happens. I mean, you're in control of it, so. Well, your squad, let's talk about the Chargers then. You're loaded at defense. You guys drafted a defensive tackle, what, in the third round? Yeah, He's yeah. the third defensive tackle at that point taken from North Carolina State. 
What are they feeding those guys in the line? There's four of those linemen. All four starters were taken in the first four rounds of the NFL draft. Man, shh. Like, whoever they D-line coach is must be very proud, man. So to me, what I can see is he's, he's definitely teaching them models. Because as I'm sitting in the room with the young guy, Justin Jones, I mean, the guy, he, he has half our playbook down already. And it's only been a week. So uh, big credit to North Carolina State defensive line coach. And to the young man that just came in the room, man, he, he, he's going to be a stud. And you got the safety from Florida State. Derwin James is your first round pick. How's he looking? He, look, he looks good. I haven't seen him on the field myself because I've been in and out of facility and whatnot because of uh, injuries. But he, he looks good, man. He looks good. Yeah, yeah he looks good, bro. You were a Pro Bowl alternate for this year. Mm -hmm. But did, you didn't make it out there, did you? Nah, nah. I went ahead and got the foot surgery done uh, on January 15th. I said, forget it. You know what? Ain't no sense of going to play in the game. Let me get myself right, get my health together, and just go ready to play football. Get ready to play football in 2018. Well, I hope your foot's okay, because the Schmo's going to do some foot drills with you. You know, I got in the octagon last week. Now I figure the Schmo's <laughs> going to do some footwork with you, huh? Yeah, yeah we go through some footwork and D-line drills. Yeah, D-line drills, I, I, yeah. I'll put you on your ass a little bit, you know? We'll see. Still yeah. recovering from a vicious leg kick. Oh, damn. That means you're going to be limited then. We'll see. No we excuses. Both, both are there. No excuses. No excuses. Okay, then shit, let's go for it then. Okay, so on your edge rushing, okay, you got what? Melvin Ingram and you got Joey Bosa. Yeah. God, you're loaded. Yeah, and on the back end, we looking beautiful, man. We got my boy uh, Feedback, Jason Verrett, Casey. You know, those two lockdown opponents when they got their best. So, uh, and we just got a first round pick in, in Duran James. It's going to be ugly, man. We got Hitman back there. And our front seven, we just going to go. We just have it, man. So that was part of the reason why I took the big bait cut, pay cut. Because I'm like, man, what's the sense of me leaving this team? I done struggled with this team for eight years, man. Eight long freaking years. So let's address that real quick. You just took a pay cut. You signed a big deal. Yeah. Not years. too long ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago, you took a pay cut. Man of the team over here. I leave this team. I, I've been here. I struggled with this team. Four and eleven. I mean, four and twelve. Five and eleven. I mean, I had some down years. I just want to see us on top once, you know. So I said, "Fuck it. I'm gonna stay, you know, and, and, and just go ahead and play with these guys because we have a young, talented defense." I mean, we, we ended the season in the top five defensively, you know. So the only thing we got to improve on is the run game, baby. That's it. So. Everything else was top five and everything. Tell Melvin Gordon next time you see him, you know, the Schmo's going to make him run extra harder. Well, he's in got, the Wisconsin, don't tell, don't you know, it's don't nicer tell me. He's, he's on your fantasy team? You better have him. The Schmo had him, actually, uh, that sophomore year when he okay. led yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Schmo yeah, won his yeah, fantasy. He won for 1,000. Yeah, he won for 1,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Now, who's a bigger partier, Joey Bosa or his father? <laughs> I'm going to say his father, man. Joe, Joe, Joey's is, is all football, man. That, that's it. I can't get the guy to come out of his house. If he's not playing God dang on video games or working out. Is he all over that come. Fortnite stuff? I don't know if he plays Fortnite, but I know he loves Battlefield. Battlefield? Yeah, Battlefield's his game. It's always the shooting games, yeah, man. Yeah, he's a Battlefield's guy. You much of a video game player? No, nah, I don't play video games that much now. I got two kids running around the house driving crazy. So that's right. That's my video game. That's my... I'm sure your wife wouldn't let you play those much either. Yeah, uh, no. Nah. Especially yeah. when I have two girls climbing over my head, it's kind of hard. It's, it's hard. Kinda, yeah, it's hard. hard it's yeah. hard. Yeah, it's hard. Very hard. Harder than practice. Is I it really? Yeah, hard? hell yeah. I got to get a second win. When I come home after practice, it's like, Don't make the Schmo mode. talk to coach. Now you need to talk to my wife, man. Okay. Yeah, talk to her for me, man. Do that for you. What's the best thing she cooks? Her, Ethiop her traditional Ethiopian food. What, what is traditional Ethiopian uh, food? It's, Culture it's, of the schmo it's, over here. It's, a little, it's chopped up steak. Uh, okay. You get cabbage, you get uh, a little bit of collard greens, you get these lentils, you get, uh, you get this deal called shuttle. It's, it's just so much. It's like all vegan food. And if you want, the only meat you will have is steak. They don't do too much chicken. They, and uh, pork is banned in their whole religion or culture. And uh, every now and again you get fish, but never, never have I even had Ethiopian fish. So. Never Ethiopian fish. Yeah, so okay. it's basically vegan, right? Plant-based food. food. Yeah. Okay. Plant-based foods. All right, let's go back to some football real quick. Your let's Chargers, go. high expectations, Super Bowl this year? I love you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Say that, yeah. A little bit more confidence out of you, yeah, Corey. Man, come on, man. With a nickname like Legit, I want some legit confidence. <laughs> this guy here, man. But yeah, hell yeah, we're going to Super Bowl this year, man. I feel very good about it. I feel like our chances. I yeah. like our chances, yeah. Talk to me about the most difficult quarterback in the NFL to sack. Hmm. You know what? It's, it's more than one, man. It's more than one. Give me your top three. To be honest, Jameis Winston. Jay Boo. Jay Boo, yeah. Okay. Jay Boo. Um, your boy Big Ben, of course. He's my boy. 
I ain't shit. You, you from you from back that way, right? No. Oh, Chi-Town. Yeah, the yeah, 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 the biscuit. Yeah, yeah, the biscuit. The bears. Well, J uh Big Ben and the last but not least is um your man Russell Wilson's up there in Seattle because he a little shit. I knew you'd say him, man. He's, yeah, he's yeah, shifty, he's five shifty, eleven. Yeah, yeah, Can't shifty. see over you, run around you. Exactly, run around you. It's so, first feeling in the heartbeat. Does, does that? They're not the. Would you say the? Who's the best quarterback in the NFL? Come on. Is it? Is it Tom Brady? Is it Aaron Rodgers? Is it your boy Phil? I say your boy Phil Rivers is the best quarterback in the NFL who has never been to a Super Bowl. That's what I, I would say. I, I, I would definitely agree with you. Yeah. But those guys who have gotten the rings, I mean, they, they just they just got the rings open. But I definitely take Phil any day. I take Philly. He's got a lot of kids. Is he grooming one of those to be a quarterback? You think or what? I think Gunner's going to be a quarterback. Yeah, yeah, he has a son, Gunner. Yeah, yeah. I, I see him out there practicing on the ball. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, he got it. He got the arm. You let he your kids play football? Nah, baseball. Baseball? Baseball, something else. Why something else? Man, this game is brutal, man. It's Why? Brutal, man. It's tough on the body, man. You look good. I look good, but shit, after the season, I don't feel too good. I know? couldn't imagine that, too. <laughs> yeah, joints everything, man. Well, we and could trade places. You go in the octagon next week. Yeah, come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. You, I love for you to get in there and play 3 tech. All right, you know something, Corey? Let, yeah. Let's go do something right, right. now. Let's go do it. All let's right. Go, come on. The Schmo and the Pro, Corey Legit. What's your one message for all the Schmo fans out there? My one message to all the Schmo fans is watch this guy get his ass kicked today. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. First one, just shot. Yeah. Two, three. Then the fourth one, I give you a good punch. Oh, yeah. I'll let everything out. Boom. So, so hips, everything. This, just, this is the Pro Bowl power right now. Yeah, this is Pro Bowl.